Now, interesting game of political chess being played there in Tamil Nadu. BJP is trying to split the Congress JDS coalition over the Speaker's post. Now, BJP leader has thrown in his hat uh, uh, for the Speaker post. In fact, uh, what we have learned is that BJP MLA Suresh Kumar will file nomination today for the Speaker post. He's going to challenge Congress's nominee K.R. Ramesh uh, for this. So, numbers as of now with the Congress and the JDS alliance and the BJP is hoping that there are few Lingayats, other disgruntled uh, MLAs from the Congress and the JDS who possibly could support uh, the nominee from the BJP. If it goes to election and uh, uh, the election possibly the Speaker post will decide, uh, can in fact decide who has the majority in the House. If uh, the Congress and the uh, JDS alliance are able to get their uh, nominee, which they should, of course, the government can go unchallenged as of now. If the BJP gets it, that is going to be a big twist. So the BJP throwing uh, in uh, its hat as far as the Speaker's force is concerned, not letting it uh, for the Congress party unopposed, unchallenged. Uh, Suresh Kumar has filed the nomination for the post of Karnataka Vidhan Sauda Speaker against uh, the Congress JDS candidate. Nagarjun uh, on the phone line with me on this story. Nagarjun, uh, the BJP not letting the pressure off uh, till the time the flow test uh, is continuing. They are going to challenge this government at every move and Speaker Post is the first one. Well, that's true, Ankit. They're not going, going back without uh, giving a tough fight to the Congress. Uh, already, uh, three-time MLA uh, Suresh Kumar is, uh, is on his way to Vidhan Sauda to sign his nomination to the Speaker Post. Remember, the Speaker will decide uh, the legalities of how the floor test should be held and he'll have the last say in terms of disqualification in the next five years. So the crucial role of Speaker Post, whoever gets the post, whichever party gets the post, can, yes. uh, can be assured that, rest assured that uh, they would be having a stable government. If BJP gets the post tomorrow, it will be crucial for them because if the Speaker disqualifies two MLAs, uh, the, uh, the government of JDS and uh, Congress immediately becomes unstable and in, as a minority and the BJP has all Nagarjun. the time to, to claim Yes, Nagarjun, where is the BJP hoping that it can get support from? Who are the MLAs that they are possibly hoping that they will in fact uh, cross vote for the BJP candidate? Well, at this point of time, they are still short of numbers. All they are doing is they are hoping that you know, by the end of the day, they might be some uh, five to six Lingayat MLAs who would turn around in terms of in, in favor of BJP. They, they feel that in the last 24 hours, maybe some sympathy would have worked because uh, how Kumar Swami spoke about some uh, much in, 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 the, in the first press conference and how uh, Yadirapa has got sympathy after his speech in Vidhan Sauda. All this, uh, right. uh, in terms of, uh, they hope that all this would have worked in terms of uh, appealing to the Congress legislators okay. and they hope that they would vote for BJP in terms of speaker election. Thank you so much, Nagarjun, for joining us with all those details. We'll come back to you. So the game of uh, thrones still continuing in Karnataka. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share, and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.